think we got it. All right. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for being out with me today. This is uh, Talk Soup Du Jour and um, yet another really fun interview, but this one will blow your mind. So listen in. And if you haven't had a chance to uh, watch some of my other videos on Talk Soup Du Jour, definitely um, subscribe today so you can see what's going to be upcoming because they just keep getting better. But I don't know if you can get any better than this. Welcome, Minnie Howard. This is my grandmother, by the way. Oh, and that's my mom, uh, Michelle Capozzi. And this is my aunt and Jerry. Hello. And uh, they are joining us today because they are all related. We're all related. And uh, the reason why I'm interviewing this amazing woman is because my gram, Minnie Howard, is going to be 100 years old this year, August 24th, which uh, I was blowing her mind. The only way I can remember birthdays is by, like, uh, I can't even remember my husband's association. birthday. Association. Yeah, you have to do association. Is it, you have to do that. Like, my honey, his birthday is um, Christmas Eve in July. Like, that's stupid. It's July 24th. That's the only oh, way I can remember oh. his birthday. Yeah. That's pretty So good. you're Christmas Eve in August. August 24th. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of dumb. But so, you, you were saying, like, you're an absolutely amazing woman because you don't even think about your age. Like, this is not, like, you know, we're all in, you know, great trepidation. You know, I'm going to be 50 this year, for heaven's sake. You know? Awesome. And Aunt Jerry, thanks for telling me that I look young. <laughs> yes. And how. Oh, my gosh. I wear glasses to hide the, the bags. Oh, and, well. Yeah, you must. <laughs> dye my hair, which needs to be done again. But... You don't ever even think about your age. You don't, do you? No. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't even, like, hit you. Never have. No. Yeah. Just and, a number. Yeah, but the amazing thing about it, my husband will say the same thing, and we all say the same thing, is you live in the moment. You live in the moment. How, who does that anymore? You guys see that? Like, some, we get caught up in our own thoughts, our own pains, our own, you know, woes. And when we're talking with somebody, I'm usually talking about myself. But you never do. You always say... Bonnie, how are you doing today? Oh. Always. That's amazing. Uh, I, this generation needs to, to hear that. We all need to hear that and do that more. But I think that's why you are so young. It's because you live in the moment. You don't let time stick on you. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Hmm. I gave you something to think about. <laughs> uh, no. I always, other people were more interesting. I like to hear what they had to say. No, oh yeah, no, they're not though. But that's awesome. That that's your heart. That's your yeah. heart. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. So, but you said your age never even hit you until something that happened. Uh, was it like a few days Sunday. ago? Sunday. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Then it did. Yeah. yeah. It so did. What, what happened then? What? Well, probably because I was arthritis. You have your aches and pains, and all at once it was getting me down. Yeah, and then you, you held a baby. When I held, oh, that, when I held a baby and somebody said uh, the youngest and the oldest and never thought about it at that time, and until that time, and it's almost a hundred years difference. That is just, okay, so what year were you born? Because I can't do the math. 1920. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why we wanted to have a flapper party. That'd be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. So what, what do you remember about your childhood in the 20s, the roaring 20s? I mean, I know you were young, and so you probably remember more about maybe the, the 30s, like, you know, the no. Great Depression? No. Um, what I remember is that I had a very good childhood, and it's a, it was a very, um, oh, I haven't got the word for it right now, but uh, now it's so fast and fast and furious. At that time, it's slow and easy, and and uh, it was good. Mm -hmm. It was good. We didn't have much, but we had. Uh, we could make up our own what we wanted to do, and I think this is something, kids today. Have no idea. I have no idea no. how to make something out of nothing. No, you know, I was thinking even like a basic like thing like drawing, we can yeah. get on our Chromebook, which is what yes. I'm recording on, and and we can, you know. It helps us. It assists us. You know, we start creating something, and it'll straighten out the lines. It'll make it into some other character. We just have to do a little bit of coloring in, and voila. But that's not, I mean, you created things from scratch. From and if you didn't, if you couldn't draw, we had the catalogs. And the, usually on Sundays, I take a catalog, and I take a, a, a model they have in there and cut it right straight up and down. And then I cut the dresses from 
and have them fit on. You made your own paper dolls. That, yeah, made your own paper dolls. I love paper dolls. Yeah. Or you draw it. your own style dress. Yeah. And, and that was our son. That was my Sundays. So that sounds like my love for fashion, fashion. really came from you. I was thinking it came from Great Graham. But that I think it's well. I know. I, yeah, yeah, I think her like her I, French I flair. Yeah. But I think it, well, I didn't. I didn't know that because yeah. I love doing that. And that's what I did before I knew, you know, what a a, a croquis is. A croquis is just like a basic like form that you can draw. You know, you can put a dress or whatever you want on. Yes. But um, I did the same thing because we didn't have cash to even get right. like paper doll. You know, to buy. So I use catalogs too. Yeah, that that was fun. Yeah. That's really neat. Not only that, my mother was a seam. I would say a seamstress. Because she could take, we, we we would wear things that we almost couldn't wear it anymore, but then she would get the best out of it and make something out of it. And I remember making the kids uh, an Easter outfit out of of uh, clothes that we couldn't wear anymore, but it made them a nice jacket and a skirt uh, Easter outfit. Do you remember some of these outfits? I don't. I don't I think so. Did. She was young, and there were really three were. of you that I made this right. Easter outfit no. for. No, yeah. I wish oh, I, I did. Remember. And Gorham, I remember. Do you? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. So, but I and gloves. Yeah. We'd wear, we wore gloves to church. Oh, wow. Remember? Yeah. And our little bonnets. Oh, oh my box. gosh. Yeah. yeah. I, I wear my ripped jeans and my <laughs> my t shirts. Yeah. Well, we're a yeah. little bit more relaxed yeah. nowadays. Yeah. But, you so. know, that, that's so neat. I know, too, um, a lot of times. I'll, I'll see, and I never, like, I'll see buttons with, like, a little bit of fabric attached to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't throw away, I mean, you guys, no, we, we, you guys didn't throw away anything. Nothing. 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 Yeah. We saved zippers, we saved buttons, we yeah. saved snaps, hook and eye, we saved it all. And I still yeah. have some antique buttons. You do? That mom has. Why don't I have yeah. them? You have <laughs> some of them. I gave you the whole box of them. I should have all of them. I'm just going to pass them down to me one day. And I've got my button box, which I still have. Oh, that's cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's really cool. So oh, That's neat. And so, out of the button, believe it or not, you can make a toy. You used to put a string in it, and, uh, uh, really? uh, yeah, uh, and then you would take the button and this long string and twirl like that and go... It was like a rubber band. Was the button was on the rubber band? Oh yes. my god! I see it would twirl this way and then it would twirl you backwards. You've never done it with her then. You never a long did time ago. Oh, okay. No, she never did it with me. No, that's that's a good busy toy. It yeah. is like you know how they toy. have like the spinners and all that stuff. You yeah. spend a ton of cash on those right. those ridiculous spinners. Yeah. You can make it with buttons and string. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's like amazing be, because yeah. it is elasticy, and it's yeah. like and it's it not so elastic. Yeah. You know? it's like perpetual motion yeah. button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. See, you know, and what's so interesting is um, the 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 thought. I was I was watching Project Runway um, the other day, or actually today, and they were talking about um, making um, a fashion line that was no waste. So whatever they cut off from their dresses, you know, it's very oh. fashionable to use everything, so it doesn't go back into the environment. But you guys were doing that already. You know, yeah, you were always right. reusing. Oh, yeah. You know, it just. We got into a society of like throw away and, and toss and, and don't reuse and there's something better, I better grab that. Yeah. And you couldn't just do that. You couldn't just go out and buy. You know, you had to create. And rugs. They made their red rugs out yeah, of it. red rugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I was looking online actually how to do that because yeah. I don't know. But this is something that you guys, you knew. This is what you did. Exactly, yeah. Because you had to. Yeah. So what's just a really, like a, a fun memory of growing up? Like how many how many siblings? Five of us all together. Five of you all together. At one and you boy. Fall, you fall where in, in the lineup? Um, next to the youngest. Okay. Yeah, I have Dolly's Dolly's younger, younger sister. Yeah, Dolly. Oh yeah, awesome. Yeah. So what what's like a fun memory from your your childhood? Something that you know you just remember when you're little doing with you know your siblings or just something fun you guys used to do as a family? Oh, or I, my father brought home this um, little sheep. And a uh, little lamb, and evidently uh, uh, got tangled up with a dog because one ear was gone. <laughs> and uh, he got it at a, we used to have slaughter mills there at what, that time. He got it at that and brought it home. And uh, we used to have fun with that, running back and forth with it, and oh. it would chase us. And, and it would come up on the porch. If we weren't outside, it would come up on the porch and uh, want us to come out and play with it. 
Oh my So God. yeah, so we had fun. I mean, it was good fun. Or outside we could do leapfrog or or all those little games that they, they don't have it now. They don't have imagination. No, I know. We, that's why, yeah. yeah. What, what can we do to kind of infuse our, our generation here? Because we have a little guy running around. What, what would you What would you have him do? We, I probably would play with him that same game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I'd probably kill myself playing leapfrog with Manny. I don't know. He's just as tall as me. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> my, it's my grandson. Well, he's he awesome. He's a squat. <laughs> yeah, I know. He'd have to. He'd have to. I know, actually, well, he, he takes it He takes it easy on me, but uh, we play soccer, basketball together. But I think that's the key is get him outside, get him away from tech and, yeah. and get him outside. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Tech wasn't available when Jerry and I were growing up. No. no. But what was available was Mom and Aunt Dolly would come out and play with us. Yeah. Somersault. We turned Somersault. Somersault. They, See, that's where you got it. Okay, listen, us. my mom, I think, sled more than all of us like combined. Because you would like, let's go sliding. You're like, no, it's cold. You're like, come on, go out. You know, we're like, no. Angels, snow sledding. angels. Snow angels. She was out in the sledding. snow before, like, all of us were out in the snow. Yes. You were just crazy. I so you have to got make that my snow mom. angel yeah. this year. Yeah. Yes, mom and Dolly would take their time. They taught us so much by just being with us, playing with us, but mm -hmm. also instructing us on how to, how to work, how to clean, how to do things. And you we could actually have fun doing it. We did. We had responsibilities growing up, but yeah. it it taught us. Yeah. It was work quite ethic. the, it taught us good work ethics. It taught us how to do things. And common sense is taught. And we were taught well. But you didn't teach me very well. I'm just kidding. Um, well, if you I'm ask my husband. I, well, I know. So is my husband. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a village. <laughs> I don't know why. So uh, let's see. We'll, we'll buzz forward a little bit and we'll talk about um, how you met Graham. How did you meet him? Oh, at that time, I was um, rooming with a, a couple, and he was rooming with a couple in the back of us, and and uh, somehow, I don't know, somehow, I really don't us. know. Yeah. You guys met? Uh -huh. But we, yeah, he, uh, we met, and... Didn't and he do uh, some show-offs in the backyard uh, to get your attention? Yeah, he did. No, <laughs> uh, it works for you guys every he time. He did show-offs, yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah. How how um old were you guys or young were you guys when when you got married? Forty. I think it was forty two, forty one, forty two. So, so that's how. Yeah, that you were what twenty. Twenty one. Can't do the math. That sound about right. Uh. Ish. Yeah. I'm not good on trying oh, to remember gonna, way back when. I I can remember my anniversary date the other day. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so the, you guys, uh, where where did you end up um, moving to? I know you, it, you grew up like very simply, you know. Um, you you raised yeah. these girls and, and, and Uncle Hugh um, not a lot at times. No, no. He, at that time, he was working at Seneca Falls, and we lived in Waterloo, and uh, not very long, and then we moved into Geneva, a couple different places there in Geneva, mm -hmm. and then we... Moved out toward, um, not yeah, Stanley Road, hall, hall, hallway, Stanley Hallway. Yeah, yeah. And then so, into Gorm. And then into Gorm. Yeah. How long were you in Gorm at the house? It was a lot. Like it was. I think it was. What did he? He was. Uh, he went. He started kindergarten. He must have been five years old. Oh, okay. And he was born in fifty. Oh my goodness! And you had that home forever because that's it's been what, a long time. Yeah, that was you know yes. our memory of going there, and that was the best. And it wasn't it wasn't like that living room seemed like it was a lot bigger because I guess we were a lot smaller. But man, yeah. it was packed out with kids, yeah. and I was always so bummed when we had to leave there and go elsewhere because we had so much fun. It was like riotous. It was that's awesome. Good. Oh yeah, and I always remember. I don't. You didn't ever have like a big tree. I don't. I don't think I remember. It was always like that little tree right on the stairway. That was kind of. I don't. I don't, I don't know if I remember a big one. tree. We did at one yeah. line. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 And, and then we had yes. the um, uh, the window seat. Then right there, then there was the bay yeah. window. The bay window. There oh, was a tree okay. in the bay window. Okay, yeah, that's what yeah. I think. That's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I love Christmases there too because you know none of us had a lot. Then you had like a thousand grandchildren, and now you have like a million great grandchildren, <laughs> great great grandchildren. There's a million of them. 
Uh, how many? Do you know? Like, how many are? In we the have pack? not officially counted them like, up. It's like they, they keep twenty five hundred. I don't they know. Keep it's adding. I know. Yeah, they do. They just keep coming. Where do they come from? I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that is yeah. crazy. But I remember you. You were so thoughtful. I, my gifts. I always love my gifts. I always thought that I was your favorite because you gave me like the best gifts. I don't even care what everyone else had, but. <laughs> I remember you knit for me, or you crochet, crochet? Crochet, crochet? I'm really bad, crochet. This pink sweater, I loved. And it was like yes. variegated. You remember that, the pink sweater. I wore that thing out. I loved it. And I don't know how, like, I, somehow I, I just thought that you, like, knew that's exactly what I wanted. Because it was so, like, it was fashionable at the time. It was the 80s, man. It was bright pink. I loved it. But then one year, because I was the only, like, girly girl in, in our family, um, and you got me pantyhose, like the ones in the egg, the legs. Oh, oh yes. yes. I couldn't have been happier. Oh, my Lord. When I put a hole in those, I, was, I think I was crying. Because oh. I just, and I don't even know how old I was. I was probably like a preteen when I got like my first pair of pantyhose. But I just <laughs> thought that it was so ladylike. I wanted to wear those all the time. But somehow you knew. Like, I don't even know. Like, you knew. But that's what I wanted. I don't know. It meant something. I know. It's just like the little things, but it's not little. Because, no. you know, none of us had a lot, you know? No. And I wanted time. each one to have something, but we didn't have much to give you. And I always thought I couldn't give you enough. No. I love you. You, no. Uh, what you my children. I know, I know. But what you gave us from your heart. And our slippers, those things lasted forever. Yeah. The the crocheted slippers. Yeah. Those were the best. I love them. They and were the so mittens. Warm. And our mittens, yeah. I still have pairs of mittens that mom crocheted and she did one a pair for uh ingrid which ingrid never got to take with her oh yeah somehow they ended up like so you just kept them you didn't give them to her thief ingrid if you're watching this video she sells your, your mittens <laughs> i have them you've got to come get them oh my ingrid. gosh i am uh, i need she, it she's got a, a huge group she's gonna have to bring with her too. yeah that's all right we'll find room yeah yeah uh, yeah well and well yeah they don't care right they'll camp out they don't care they don't care but, you know, I, I remember just some stories from these guys growing up that, that you would tell or mom would tell about what you would do, like what you guys ate during the week, what you ate on Sunday, and then what you would do when you kind of like ran out of stuff. Like um, you never had maple syrup or you didn't have a lot of it. Right. We'd run out of maple syrup. We, actually, we didn't have it most of the time. Yeah. So what, what would you guys end up doing oh. for the... Probably brown sugar and water. Yeah. Brown sugar and water. water. Yeah. You boil it down and add a little, little butter in it. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. Sounds, actually, that yeah. sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. It was very good. I yeah. made it up for the teens one time, and they loved it better than maple. Yeah. Syrup. Yeah, because it's pure yeah. sugar. Yeah. Holy Moses. And then, then gave she, it back yeah. to the parents after that. She used to make us growing up, because we didn't have much for dessert, lumpy pudding. Oh, wait. oh yeah. Wait, what is that again? Mm. Lumpy pudding <laughs> is you, you boil up milk. You put flour in it, yeah, and so yeah, it yeah. turns lumpy. Yeah. And then you add sugar and nutmeg to it. I'm going to make that. That well, sounds actually really good. I loved it. As and Jerry. I did it for my boys, and I tasted it. I said, oh, my gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and I loved it when I was growing up. I don't it, know what happened. Because yes. we get spoiled. We all the junk what on the shelves in yeah. Wegmans. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, spoiled. try it and see. I don't know. Try. Well, maybe I, I stick a little vanilla in there. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Be. Like a little yeah. flavoring. Season, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I was surprised because I was remembering back then. Yes, and I because loved we it. knew we knew yeah. we loved it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that was Our dessert. Taste had changed a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. The one thing I, I, uh, I it grosses me out too, and I think this was like a generational thing, but um, the crackers or the the bread and milk. Oh Talk yes! Oh yes! Talk to me. That, or, that just seems or really, even that seems even offensive. Bread, even bread know. and milk. I'm bread and milk. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you still eat that, Graham? I had it last night. Oh Lord, have mercy! Oh my God. <laughs> These guys Graham just grow up. Yeah. Graham likes it with. You like it with salt? That's you like well, well, no or sugar. Sure. Yeah. The the bread, but the bread with the milk. cracker just crack. Yeah. Crackers. Well, yeah. crackers, yeah, because it has like salt. Usually. Yeah. Salt. It is salty. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's tough. Uh, you guys used to do it. Dad liked bread and milk. He liked bread and milk and with you, salt on it, and I liked mine with sugar on it. Oh, Lord, sugar. Ever. The little sugar little I can understand. It almost makes it like a really yeah. soggy pudding, cold, <laughs> soggy pudding. That's just gross. All I could see was like floaters in the milk. It was just nasty. I'm yeah. like, I don't know how you... Well, but that's, Howard liked it. Grandpa, great-grandpa. 
for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. he liked that. Yeah. yeah. What it is, it's a filler. Yeah. Bread was a filler. Because it was cheap. Out. Bread was cheap. Yes. And you always had, like, bread and milk. So we have that. And you guys only ever had, like, meat. Like, we, we like, every night yeah. we have to have some kind of, like, yeah. meat. You know, yeah. we're yeah. grilling, we're whatever, but Mostly once a week, once a sometimes week, yeah. a little bit more. But we had casserole dishes and, yes. um, yeah. and baked rolls or, or muffins or biscuits to, to go yes. along with it. Yeah. yeah. That is wild. No. We are so spoiled today, but I think way too spoiled. But That's we why still we're all... like casseroles. Oh, yeah. love casseroles. Yeah. We still like casseroles. Oh, yeah. We love them. Yeah. yeah. I don't make... It's Those are... That's comfort, comfort food. It, well, it's comfort food, too, but it fill, you know, it feeds millions. Yeah, because yes. yeah. yeah. that's what yeah. we had growing up, Loaves too. Loaves and fishes. Yeah. Oh, my God. And yeah, you put whatever you want in it. You know, whatever oh, you got yeah. left over. Yes. You oh, know? oh. Yeah. You yeah. Whatever left over. Good thing I didn't eat at your plate. What'd you put in there? No, I don't. Like, empty out the fridge? You put in Whatever. Well, you got to be within reason. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I can't say I that. wouldn't go there for dinner. Yeah. What are we having? You oh, yeah. oh, no, Jerry's a good cook. No, she's a very good cook. I'm just kidding. I'm Things have got to come. Yeah, well, okay, okay, so you're not just going to, like, dump. Yeah, no, you're just okay. going to, you know. Because that's what I do for my chili. Yeah. I made this chili one time. It was so gross. But it tasted really good. Yeah. It had floaters. It had hot dogs in there. It had chicken. It had beef. It had all oh. sorts of, uh, they were all floating in there. Meatballs, that sounds like sausages. Huey's. It was good. Oh, cool. Meat lovers. Yes. yes. Well, he's going to like what we, uh, what we make for him. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Now, um, what was I thinking of? Oh, I don't even know what I was thinking of. So, um, oh, I know. Um, it, we're totally fascinated with the World War II generation because we don't have many of them left. You're one of them, the, whole, the World War II generation. So what do you remember... From that time, World War Two. You're 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 raising, you know, my mom, you know, and like 1942 or Pearl Harbor or what do you uh, do you remember hearing about Pearl Harbor like on the radio? Oh, oh, yeah, that that, that was sickening. That that was sickening, and I was selfish because I was thinking I'm so glad that. None of mine were in there, and maybe they were, and I didn't know. It. I don't know, but but I, that, know. I uh, think it's just a great. My mother. husband didn't have to go, and I didn't have any kids that had to go or, or relatives that I knew of. Yeah. But yes, that that was. And they did have they ration them. I was going to ask you about that. Book. So you remember the ration? I yeah. did have a book. I'm so sorry. I, I don't remember have that it book. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I remember do. that. Yeah. Tea, coffee. Uh, um, Gas, sugar, uh, so many things I don't even remember now yeah. with the ration. But we never ran short on anything because I had so many f- kids. Uh, we had about oh, yeah. three to four. So, so they did it according to uh, your according family? According to your family. Okay. According yeah. to your family. Oh, wow. So we were able to help others out that maybe didn't have and ran out, you know? Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah, that's really good. Well, you definitely pass that on to your daughter because um, she could feed an entire family of like seven of us before Gary came, eight after that, with a tuna fish casserole, yeah. which consisted of like yeah. one can of tuna, yeah. one can of like cream of mushroom soup, a little bit of milk, and then noodles. And she fed yeah. the whole family. Maybe yeah. some peas on the side. Peas on yeah. the side. Yeah. yeah, there were not leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> and if there were, I didn't get any. I was the youngest. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and then we'd have people over. And the oh, word yeah. was still stretching. Always. Oh, oh, yeah, there's yeah. always food. It so always nice. amazed me if there were parties, a birthday party or anything, they always had something for a party. And I thought, I don't know how they did it. Oh, my gosh. But I it was definitely, it was definitely the Lord. He provided, he like, well. so many times. Yeah. Yeah. I think that, too, because the way that you brought up the girls, they knew what to do with a little to make it last. Yeah, you just stretched it. You yeah. stretched it. So I'm going to ask uh, you ladies, wh- what has your mom, what what are the things that she's taught you? Like what really stands out? I know it's, or just one of the, some of the things that have really impacted your life that your mom taught you guys. I think watching mom now, she's very relatable to every generation. Yeah. No matter what the generation, she's willing to listen uh, she gets down on the floor when she can, plays with the kids, or they get up on her lap. She's very relatable, yeah. and she sincerely c- 
concerned and enjoying people. Like I said, you, Graham, you live in the moment. That's so unusual. I know you don't think much about it, but that's everything. Because people want to be heard. They want to be loved in a generation of tech, you know, and Instagram and Facebook. And people are lonelier today than they've ever been, which makes no sense. But it does when you think about it. They're connecting with tech and not people. But you connect with them, and it, it like feeds something in our hungry soul, you know. I think that's the the most priciest commodity is just to you know invest in somebody, and that's what you do every time. Even doing this video with me, which I know like you're like, Ugh. but you know, thank you so much for doing it because there's so much you have to share, you know. You're welcome. Yeah, it's awesome. So, Aunt Jerry, what what do you? What do you um. Uh, her principles were, I mean, each one of us, we are honest to the core, I'm telling you. Oh, if yes. trustworthy, yeah, I mean, yes. you know, whatever. It's like, it was, we were raised that way. Yeah. It was you know, ingrained yeah. in yeah. us. You know, so, I mean, it's like. Honesty, that, integrity, yeah. hard work, ethic, hard work. everything. Oh, definitely. And, yeah. and, and uh, things that you need in life, you know, and. Yeah. We got it, you know, my, it was mom and Dolly and the one, you know, our family, you know. Can you guys hold like a boot camp for the younger generation? Yeah, that would be know, awesome. I Even I need to be in there someplace, I so I'm telling you. Something. Yeah. Mom tried, but dad corrupted me. Yeah. It was dad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> it was simple, but it was simple. Yes. Things were simple. Yeah. It you was know, just I think everyday practicality. are too complicated now. Totally. And I think people, I don't know, they're just not thinking the same way or something. They, no. they need to relax, you know, and it's hard to relax when things are such fast pace. Yeah, so what you do know? we need to do? We need to streamline. We, we need to stop thinking about ourselves so much and how we look on, you know, camera or whatever. Yeah. We need to start caring about one another yeah. and make it simple. And not be so busy, 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 mm. busy. It's really, really oh, hard, though, because so hard. much stuff Lots. is going on. Yeah, and that's like too Two, um, the 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 um, wife and the husband are working. Both of them are working. Yeah. It wasn't like yes, that. Yeah. I can't imagine, Mom, you know? if you were working. I know if, I know. if Mom was working. I had to work. I know it's tough. And it wasn't. I did not really like it. Yeah. But the neat thing is, it brought me out of my shell. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That yeah. was the neat thing. I mean, I knew the Lord had some type of plan or something because yeah. I was shyer than anything. Really? Yeah. Let me just tell you, she's not shy anymore. No, not I'm not shy anymore. Not, no, it's wonderful. I know. I know. No. You know, and that's just the Lord, you yeah. know. So, yeah. I mean, whatever you're doing or you end up doing or whatever, you just kind of embrace it. You just see the good in that. And that's what, Ma, you know, you see the good. You that, know? You know, I've never heard, Graham, you say, yeah. like, negative. I, I yeah. haven't. And that's, I am yeah. a complainer. I don't know what happened. You need to, like, infuse more of you and me and I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm a complainer, but yeah. you don't. I don't know. I mean, maybe you say something, but I don't uh, ever hear it. You, you don't hear me. I don't hear it, yeah, <laughs> but I've never heard it. And, you know, I've, but you don't stay there, see? No. no. You might say something, yeah. but you don't stay you don't there. Stay. Yeah. You, you know. And I, again, yeah. I think that's uh, definitely that's the Lord in you because he's yeah. filled you with hope, and but yeah. he gave you that personality. And positive. I have a positive thought. Yeah. That yeah. She yeah. does. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, what, what is that? Yeah. Ephesians? I can't even know. Philippians. What is that? Oh, think on those things. Yes. You are Philippians 4 report. 8. Yep. Lovely. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I have yeah. it on my fridge, yeah. but obviously I have yeah. not memorized yeah. it. I need to. Yeah. 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 I need to the other that. thing, yeah. Mom and both Mom and Dad did, for, for what I remember, is that they never compared us with each other. They loved us for who we yeah. were individually. And you definitely instill that in your daughter because yeah. we, yeah. we were all different and I was yeah. definitely the, the craziest, the loudest. But to love mm. each one and value yeah. each one individually and that's what mom and dad did. They wanted us to be our best. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and again, as Jerry said, we were taught respect. Yeah. yeah. We were. Yeah. We may not have liked or appreciated what was being said, but we were taught to be respectful yeah. and to respect. So, yeah. yeah. And we had a lilac bush. Oh, mom, love the lilac bush. Oh, the lilac bush. Oh, man, those the are little. Lilac bush. So t t tell me about the lilac bush. <laughs> that helped to control. <laughs> the lilac <laughs> bush. If we needed, you, need, you, needed, you needed to use that lilac bush on me, I think. If, if we needed discipline, mom would say, go get a stick. A well, switch. if we a switch. A switch, if we didn't yeah, get the stick. right one, we'd go get one of her own. 
and it was a lilac switch and it's a live one and they do get your attention they whip they yeah. whip she, but they weren't she wasn't good job Graham. she <laughs> <laughs> but she, she met it was out, out that much. No, she <laughs> met out the correction, not punishment, correction yeah. as needed and only as needed. Oh, that's good. We Send never to the room. I remember mine up oh, in the room, not the switch it. so much, yeah. but up in the room. And oh, yeah. we what, did what not there? talk back. No way. Oh, no way. Mm-hmm. That was not allowed. What happened when you did? Oop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mouth got to shut down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but you, no, you use soap. You like the the soap I, method. I did the liquid soap method. Well, you did the Ooh. first the solid. Then she did liquid. Liquid did it. Ooh. You should have. Yes. You should have started yes. with liquid. That's that was rough. Good. <laughs> we were blowing bubbles forever. Oh yeah, that was bad. That However, was bad. your language did clean up. It did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Clean, clean, clean. Maybe I need some more of that liquid soap. <laughs> Just kidding. I've been out of it too long. Just kidding. Um. So tell us uh, kind of like where you are today, you know. You're coming up on your 100th birthday. Oh, uh, I guess I can't really tell you because I, uh, I don't know. I mean, you are involved in all your kids' lives, all of your, your um, grandkids, great-grandkids. I mean, you're there. You're that's what keeps her young. I do that. Yes. I know. Yeah. That's what keeps I her do. young. I yeah. like to know uh, how each family is doing, yeah. how the kids are doing. She, and, yeah. and if I can go, I like to go. Yeah. If I can, I can. Grand, well, you, yeah. You're always going, though. If you she can, can, you're there. Yeah, she, yeah. Yes. every that's event. That's true. She's that's true. busy. She's even been to a great-grandson and great-granddaughter's uh, basketball, baseball games. I love it. So love indoor it. soccer. So yeah. So we did oh, yeah, that that's last right. year. Yes. So Taxi. Taxi driver. Yeah, hey. That's, that's all right. A, that's all right. Good company. Yeah. She's good company. Driver, take me, whatever, like a yeah. limousine. Yeah. I like that. So. How about Do you that? sit in the back? So you can kind of... Not really. Her? No, oh. I like to sit up in front. So yeah. <laughs> She's trying to shock him. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah not really. Like, Oops, yeah. I didn't slow down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, wow. keep your eyes on the road. Yeah. Uh, even when she does, she's kind of a crazy driver. I don't know. I think I got that She's from a her. quick little one. She's a uh-huh. she, she hears me, but she does not. She hears me, but she doesn't hear me. <laughs> oh! But she does that to me, too. Actually, I do that to you. Oh. So you ladies have anything you want to add about your mama? We love her. Oh, that's a great answer. We do, we do. No matter we what, do. we love her. Yeah, yeah. No, no matter what, what would yeah. you no do? Matter what. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just the fact that uh, she has and still is teaching me yeah. a lot. You're teaching everybody. Graham, you have no idea. My husband talks about you all the time. My mother-in-law, <laughs> Frida, that. talks about you yeah. all the time. Yeah. She's always asking about you. Chris is always saying, you know, tell her I love her, tell her I said hi. You impact people just by like your first introduction, just by that's meeting true. people. Yes, that's true. Because it's your the heart that the Lord's yeah. given you. It's beautiful, yeah. and I don't think you realize like yeah. how beautiful it is. Yeah, she does. Yeah. No. And I, I probably just as well I don't. No, I know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can get a little like self involved, but I've never yeah. seen that in you. Yeah. Never. Oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, yeah. and I think that's it. She lives. Basically, an unselfish life. She's hugely concerned with other people, and always in the on. moment. Always, yeah. in the, I think that's, that's the thing. where we are right now. Yeah, you're yeah. always here. You're not thinking backwards. Not thinking about your oh, aches and pains, I, or I, telling yeah. people about your past, whatever the heck's. No, no, I'm not a no. I'm not a dweller on the past. I, I, I like to look ahead. Yeah, amen. Yeah. At a hundred, you're looking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And that blood is in me. Those genes are in me. I'm going to live to be a million. Like Michelle, she's going with the rapture. Yes. 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 That's what we're praying for. Yeah. Yeah. She says, um, your mom (laughs) says, um, we're talking about the the gravestone and everything. She says, my my name, my date is not going to be on there. I said, why? No. She says, because I'm going to be rapture first. I love it. I love it. Amen. (laughs) And so is Graham. Yes. I'm so like dumb because... to, to me, like, Mom, you're, you know, you guys are, like, like eternal. I don't know. Yeah. You're like Vulcans. We're all yeah. Vulcans. <laughs> so, w- 
when I looked at Dad's gravestone, I couldn't for the life of me, I couldn't figure out why his name was Offset. I'm like, they screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't. I'm like, that thought wasn't even in my head. Yeah. Like that one happened. But yeah, you're right, that and one. that's what we're praying for yeah. that we all make it to the rapture. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're walking home <laughs> to heaven together. No, oh, yeah. amen, amen. Yeah. Well, Graham, thanks so much, and Aunt Jerry, Mom, thanks oh, so much for joining welcome. me today. This is a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't torture, right? You had fun. Not too much. Yeah, yeah. Not really too good. much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for joining us on Talk Soup Du Jour. And again, make sure that you do subscribe so you can see the coming videos. There's going to be a lot more. And you can see what we've done in the past. It's been a lot of fun. So, so much more to come. If you have any comments, I want to hear about those as well. But, and if uh, you need any advice, talk to mom. Yeah, She's yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't talk to me because I'll tell you all sorts of stuff. But you can talk to Graham. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> too good. <laughs>